A taper serves to center one piece of work accurately with another. To make sure the bearing surfaces fit evenly, a taper must be finished to very close limits. In a blueprint, the amount of taper is usually expressed in inches per foot. This stub arbor is to be ground with a taper of three and a half inches per foot. Start a new job with work and tools neatly arranged. To grind this taper, you will have to perform two operations, roughing and finishing. Inspect the center holes and select a ring gauge. Wipe the tapered hole in the gauge and use it to measure one of the machined pieces. As there is sufficient stock for grinding, prepare the arbor for the machine. Clamp a dog on the straight end. Lubricate the center holes. Place the piece between centers on the grinding machine. Tighten the tailstock clamp screws. Check the tension of the work between centers. If it rotates too freely, adjust the tailstock hand wheel. By turning the hand wheel clockwise, spring pressure is brought against the tailstock center. The next step is to prepare the swivel table for the correct taper position. Loosen both ends of the table. Turn the swivel screw until the dial indicates the right amount of taper adjustment. For this job, three and a half inches per foot. The figures at the top of the dial indicate taper in degrees. The lower figures show taper in inches per foot. The principle involved in grinding a taper is illustrated in this drawing. The work table of the grinding machine actually consists of two parts. A lateral table, which can be traversed only in a straight line, and a second table superimposed over this one, which can be swiveled within certain limits. The second, or swivel table, contains the headstock and tailstock centers. Regardless of the position of the swivel table, the travel motion of the first table is always parallel to the face of the grinding wheel. Therefore, the angle at which the swivel table is set will always be produced on the surface of the work passing before the wheel. When the correct taper adjustment is made, snug down the swivel table clamps. You are ready to dress the grinding wheel. Clamp the diamond tool in the tailstock holder. Tighten the spindle lock. Adjust the machine to bring the diamond in front of the wheel.
the traverse rate for dressing should be the same as the rate for actual grinding. Infeed should not exceed one thousandth of an inch. When dressing is completed, stop the machine and remove the diamond tool and splash guard. Leave the diamond tool in a safe place. Stop the grinding wheel. This is an important safety measure before setting up for table traverse. Now, line up the small end of the taper with the edge of the wheel. Bring the wheel as close to the work as possible without actual contact. The edge of the wheel should slightly overlap the small end of the taper. Set the right table reversal dog. Check reversal action by hand traverse. Extreme accuracy is very important. A small amount of over-travel may damage the work and the machine. Fine adjustment of the reversal dog is made by using the knurled screw. When the reversal setting of the small end of the workpiece is satisfactory, position the wide end in the same way. Always check the action of both reversal dogs by hand before engaging the power traverse control. With reversal action correct, you are ready to grind. Take a light cut across the workpiece to clean off machining marks and to provide a smooth surface for checking. After the cleanup, move the wheel away. Stop the machine and remove the work. To check the taper of the piece, first wipe it clean. Place a small amount of Prussian blue on a cloth and apply it to the work. Spread the bluing thinly and evenly. Clean the ring gauge. Insert the tapered piece into the ring gauge and rotate it firmly back and forth. Remove the ring gauge carefully and examine the coated surface. The bearing lines are heaviest at the small end, indicating that more taper is required. Place the workpiece between centers again and adjust the swivel table. A slight amount of correction is all that is needed. Take another light cut across the work.
check the accuracy of the setup again using bluing and the ring gauge. The even bearing lines indicate the taper is correct. To check for size, measure the clearance between the taper and the shoulder. The scale shows the clearance to be 5 32nds of an inch. As the blueprint requires a clearance of 1 8th of an inch, the diameter of the taper needs more grinding. Continue grinding until the taper is approximately to rough size. Set the positive stop to serve as a reference point for grinding subsequent pieces. Let the work spark out. Then back off the grinding wheel. Stop the machine and remove the work. Use the ring gauge again to measure the clearance. The scale shows the clearance is slightly more than one eighth of an inch, sufficiently oversized for the finish grinding operation. You are now ready to rough grind on a production basis. Prepare the next arbor. The setup of the machine has not been changed since grinding the first piece. This and all subsequent pieces will be to rough size when the hand wheel reaches the positive stop. After the taper on all the arbors has been rough ground, you are ready for finish grinding operations. Dress the grinding wheel. For greatest rigidity, the overhang of the diamond tool should be as small as possible. Traverse slowly with light infeed per pass. Before proceeding with finished grinding, prepare the light gauge for checking the finished pieces. In addition to a light box, the device consists of a taper gauge with bearing points. Clean these carefully. Place the light gauge on the light box. To ensure accuracy of the points, test the light gauge with a master plug. The exclusion of all light shows that the bearing points are correct. You are now ready for the finish grinding operations. The procedures are the same as those used in rough grinding. Place a rough ground piece on the machine for a very light cut.
This cut provides a smooth surface for checking on the light gauge. Be sure that the tapered portion is completely dry before setting the piece on the gauge. As light is visible, the taper is incorrect. Adjust the swivel table carefully. Take another light cut across the work. Set the positive stop to act as a reference point for subsequent grinding. Remove the work from the machine for a check on the light gauge. The taper is correct and to size when the light is completely shut out. You are now ready to finish grind the remaining pieces on a production basis using the settings already established. To grind tapers, Position the swivel table accurately. Set the table reversal dogs carefully. Use the proper measuring tools, the ring gauge, the scale, the light gauge. Precision practices make precision parts.